Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Last time I made a bench top. Now I'm going to need to make the rest of the bench. The bench is 6 foot long and 2 foot wide and I need to make a template so I'm cutting this piece down to 2 foot long by 16 centimetres. This is going to be made into a template to cut some holes in the bench. I find the centre of the piece of wood and then mark in an equal distance from either end. This is a 110mm hole saw and it's the biggest one I have. So strangely enough, that's how big my holes are going to be. I drill a hole each end of the wood on the marks that I've made. I then need to cut out the material between the two holes. I could use the jigsaw for this, but as it's a template, I want the edges to be perfect. So I'm going to opt for using the track saw instead. I line it up so the teeth just fit inside the circle and then I can cut from one to the other. Then I can flip the workpiece over and do the same on the other side. This left a really nice clean finish and just needed a little touch up on the drum sander. I have two half sheets of MDF that I'm cutting down to six foot. Always make sure your vacuum hose is properly attached before you start cutting. I want to rip down two strips to go on the side of the bench, so I'm going to use my template to determine the size, and then these can be cut down. I need two pieces to go on each end of the bench and also two ribs to go internally, all the same size. I can get all these pieces off the bits I chopped off the ends of the six foot lengths, but they're still going to be too long because I need to take into consideration the thicknesses of the two sides, so I need to take a little bit off them and I set up a stop block and do this on the miter saw. These end bits now are slightly shorter than the template I've made. So I set a square to the thickness of the MDF and centre the template. If I was to clamp this in place, it wouldn't give me enough room for the router to run, so I'm going to screw it down. When I go to put the bench together, all the bits with the screw holes in will be on the inside and won't be seen. In my router, I've fitted a spiral upcut bit and a guide bush. The plan is that the guide bush will run alongside of the template while I plunge down and make a cut. This will make the cut nice and repeatable, but it will make the cut slightly smaller than the template, so you've got to take that into consideration when you make it. My only criteria really is I can get my hand through the hole and my drill through the hole. I plunged about halfway and made a first pass, and then plunged all the way to make the second pass. After all four of the smaller pieces are done, I can work on the two longer sides. This time, instead of having the template hang over the thickness of the MDF, it butts up flush to the end. For the smaller pieces, I had them held in my vise, but the longer pieces won't fit, so I'm just using a bit of insulation board to go underneath it. I then cut the pieces out in the same way, but before I remove the template, I just draw a line to indicate where the first one was. Then I can unscrew it and butt it up to the line, moving it along. After the three holes have been cut out along both sides, that's all the bits done. It just needs putting together now. Right, time to get this thing put together. So this is a six foot by two foot board, and this is gonna be the base. I lay one of the sides on, just so I can see where I want the screws to go. 
because I don't want to be driving up any long screws into where there's a hole. I can then drill some pilot holes and I'm using a drill bit with a countersink built in. While I've got it this way up, I go around and put loads of screws in all the holes and just twist them in by hand. This is just going to make it a bit easier later when I'm working underneath it. I can now flip the base upside down so the screws are at the bottom. I'm going to glue and screw the sides on, so first I'm going to run a bead of glue down one side. With the glue in, I can position the side and then I'm going to hold it in place with some clamps. When I'm happy with the position of the side, I can then get the screws in place. I do the same thing for both sides and then it's time to work on the ends. So these go in exactly the same way, just a bead of glue going all the way around. And then they slide into place and they're a nice snug fit. I didn't worry about clamping the ends, I just screwed them in place and if there's any fine adjustments they need making I just use the mallet to knock them around. When the ends have been screwed in from below they also need tying into the sides. So I drilled and countersunk a couple more holes and then put some screws in. To help keep the top nice and flat I want two internal ribs. I've cut this piece of MDF down to use as a spacer and it also helped the ribs go in square. So same as everything else, they get a bit of glue on them and then I'm going to screw them in. With the ribs in, the last job is to get the top in place. I position it and then get some clamps on to hold it where I want it to be. I'm not going to glue the top on because if it gets a bit worn out I can just flip it over and then if that gets worn out I can replace the top. So it just gets pilot holes, countersinked and then screwed into place. With the last now, screw in place, on some saw that's it done until I decide whether to make a rolling trolley for it or not. So that's it all done. Now I just need to come up with a project to utilise it. If you look down below, you'll see links to where I got the path guide system. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.